<clears throat> Ooh, good morning. Do you for real get a, a Lorax in this game? Uh, yeah. I think you do. Like, I, <laughs> I tried not to, like, spoil too much for me. There is a green sprite who tells me how to save the planet, I believe. And, uh, yeah, I think he's my Lorax. Anyway, good morning, everybody. I'm Old Man Sugarheart. Today, we're playing Towers of Agasba. And, uh, we're just gonna dive right in. It was really hard for me not to watch a lot of gameplay yesterday. It was a huge struggle. Hi, JC. My computer sounds like it's going to explode. Been a while since we played a super graphically intense game. Ah, young one, there you are. Come, let's talk. This may not be how you plan to, uh, how we plan to arrive, but thank the spirits we arrived at all. Fifty-six treacherous nights at sea, and we we're finally here, the island of our ancestors. The rightful home of the Shimu people, Agazba. It's so freeing being off that rotting ship, isn't it? Yeah, like the spirits. In our joy, we mustn't forget those we lost on the journey. We should build a shrine to them once we've settled here in our homeland. Before we set out uh, to find our former capital city of Midhaven, we must collect our wits and retrieve all we can from our crashed ship. The Elder Koru told me that our tribe's Amity Crystal was left in the wreckage. It's not much, not of much practical use, but keeping our tribe's heritage alive is paramount, is it? I need you to swim out to the wreckage and return our, am, 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 our Amity Crystal to Koru, young one. I believe that I can see a glint of it now, hanging off a broken mast of our ship. If you need more info, ask Oru. He's the oldest man on the beach. Uh, second oldest now. Go on. Go now, young one. I have faith in you. Ooh, uh, all right. So, how much does this game cost? It looks good. Uh, let me double check that for you. I want to say it cost me 30 bucks? It costs 30 bucks. And I think you're right. I think graphically this game is very impressive. Very shiny. And it does look like a good game. There, there's a swarm of negative reviews. I think mostly people are upset that multiplayer isn't working. Uh, but I think that the towers of Agazba devs posted something like patch incoming. I, I think there's some jank, possibly. I'm excited to find it. Let's pick this up. Oh yeah, now that's a good look. Ooh. 
I've got those chameleon eyes. Uh, have I ever played, uh, or, sorry, also, you should play Ever Oasis. It's a very cozy game. Sounds interesting. Oh. I feel like I'm... These are kind of like Grand Theft Auto runnings. Hang on. Let's see if this is a little better with a controller. Oh. And just climb anything? I can use a three. When I'm crouching, I don't fall off a cliff, so I see. I can also get stuck on a rope. So if I want to play on a controller or if I like the keyboard and mouse. Have I played Crozy Cozy Grove? I actually haven't, no. It rings it rings such a bell. I think I looked at it and, uh, and I opted against it, but I can't remember what it's about. And I don't think it was like a, a close one either. I think there were several cozy games I'd play before that. Is it good? Have I played uh, Tony Glade? Tiny Glade? Uh, no, no, no. I, I did play a game called Summer House. And it was... Ooh, I can climb everything played a game called Summer House, which kind of had the same vibe. Just kind of like Bob Bross painting a building. To like, don't get me wrong, Tiny Glade looks a lot better. But like, I, I need a little more objective-based gameplay. I need something like a goal. But if I didn't, Tiny Glade's the way to go, I think. You're the oldest man on the beach, huh? Oi, young one. You've returned with our Amity Crystal. My largest gratitude's upon you. Of course I did. You seemed on the verge of saying something else, youngest. Did I? Oh, that it glowed? As the Jubanga flies, are Amity Crystal showing signs of activity after all this time? Ooh. Not since Jua has been a has a Shimu been bored. What? Not since Jua has a Shimu been born who can harness the power of Amity. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The great force of life that flows through all living things. I'd like you to hold on to this crystal for now, youngest. Alert me to any further glowing or similar goings on. But this is not our focus at present. Our priority is to find the mighty Shimu capital of Midhaven and begin rebuilding our civilization on this land. Speak now to Heluna about how you can best help the Shimu get resettled on Agasma. And keep a sneaky eye on that Amity Crystal. Should it feel bold enough to glow again, youngest, alert me. Cozy Grove has really cute ghost bears. I do like ghost bears. Probably more than I should. Uh, let's see. Cozy Grove is one of your favorites. 
The conversation and letters are a really good backstory. Okay. I... I've never heard anyone say anything bad about Cro Cozy Grove. Like, so it, it it's possible I missed a hidden gem on that one, so I might have to look it up. Also, did I hear Stalker 2 is coming out today? Yeah, Stalker 2 is, like, the most anticipated game of the year, I think. I never played Stalker 1, and I'm very interested in Stalker 2. But I... I don't know. There's so many other good games. I'm really hoping this is a good game. I want to play this in Critter Cafe. And I don't think I will personally have time for Stalker 2, even though I think I'd like it. And I get spirit animals to take care of in Cozy Grove. Good to know. You've returned to uh, our tribe's Amity Crystal to Kouru, have you? Yeah, I did. Strong work. Now it's time to focus on the task at hand. The Shimu tribe survival. Our head architect, Ajit, needs an apprentice. I'm assigning you to the po position. Alright. Ajit went ahead to find an area to establish our farm first farming village. I shall mark his position on your map. Amani Island is revealed. Go forth, find him, and do whatever he asks of you, young one. Alright. Find Ajit, the head architect. Yep, he's out there. Can I... Do I have, like, a radar? Nah, I've got a mini-map. That's good enough. Alright, I hear you can climb anything in the game. Conan Exiles style. Or Breath of the Wild style. Conan Exiles is a little flatter than this. Maybe on uh, wild days I could do it? Maybe. Sticks and stones? Ooh. My enemies better not... I better hope they don't have any bones. Oi! You down there! Eluna told me she was sending an apprentice to help me play in our village. But she didn't tell me it would take 1,000 suns and moons for them to get here. Hurry up and climb up here so we can begin our work. Okay. I don't know why I'm picking up all these stones. I just feel like one day it's going to be like, you need 10,000 stones. And I feel like I'll need them in my pocket. So let's see. On wild days, I could play Stalker. Like, I assume Stalker 2 is at least 60 bucks, right? Like, they could charge 70 and get away with it. And I hope they don't. But that's a lot of money to spend on a wild day. Yeah, keep in mind, the stream still doesn't make $60 an entire month, usually. Huh? Huh? You? You're the apprentice Hiluna sent me? Well, alright. Young little apprentice, take a look at this. Behold. It's disgusting. There's nothing, totally empty. 
Lynn just told us this would be a bountiful paradise? It's the most pathetic bountiful paradise I've ever seen. You want to help me build a civilization or just stand around? You small stump. Hi, sugar heart. Hi, well, uh, sorry. Hi, hi, Raven's Guardian. I don't know why I wanted to throw a wild in there. Here, little apprentice, take this farming village marker. Okay. I need you to go down there and find somewhere to establish our first farming village. Flat area, plenty of room for expansion. Hulk and the Builder will join you after you've picked a spot. Now off with you. And don't snap yourself in half trying to get down from here. Come to think of it, take this too. This is my spare parachute. The Luna would be furious with me if I let you break your little neck. So use this to get, get down. Just as I'll be furious with you if you don't find a great spot for our farming village. Ride through the skies of Agazba on your parachute. Yay. Alright. It's a good thing I didn't have to equip that. I thought I turned off controller rumble, but I've got a fun little vibrate going. Ooh, a stick. Not like these other sticks, but like an actual good stick, you know? One you can roast marshmallows with. Ah, <gasps> it's a critter. Can I pet you? Creeping on you. Hmm? Are these my creatures? So I I hear tell that this game has like unique game elements to like different playthroughs. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, since I haven't done anything unique in the game yet, if these animals are in every game. But, there might be, like, animals and fruits and trees that are only in my game that aren't in, like, well, maybe not only in my game, but may not be in your game if you choose to play this. I mean, if a kid came up to me with that mask on, asking to be my apprentice, I'd be hesitant too. You would? I wouldn't. I'd be like, how would you like to be my adopted son? Or daughter, I have no idea. My gender neutral... androgynous progeny. I see stairs. Can I put the village up there? Open inventory and place farming village. Because I've got a farming village in my inventory. Dude really went fly little birdie and shoved you off a cliff. He really kind of did. Alright. I don't mean to waste time, but I hear I can climb everything. And I hear you can place things in cool places. So I'm a little curious, can I place a farming village on the top of whatever this is? This is great. This is about like the level of rock climbing I can handle. Well, never mind. Here's where I'd die. When I 
when I was in college, I did a little rock climbing. I did rock climbing and caving at the same time. Had an instructor in both. And I thought, like, rock climbing would be, like, the scariest one. Because I'm a little afraid of heights. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Alright. I found the great place for our farming village. Right here. Uh, boop. Inadequate floor. Well, fine. Ooh, but that's shiny. Did I go spelunking? No, I went caving. Caving is what people do to rescue spelunkers. This parachute has pants. Parachute pants. Here's where the animals, where the spirits believed to have watched over Amani. Over Amani Island were honored. Here is where the, okay. Cool, cool. It's a porta. Portal. Data needs to be re, dad, data. Needs to be researched, uh, Needs to research it more before we can use it. Okay. Alright. Um, so there's something cool here. I feel like near here is where I want to drop the village. Whoa. You fall fast in this game. Something is in the way. What if it wasn't? I've discovered a Mani theater. It's pretty nice. But yeah, uh, caving was terrifying. It was so... <laughs> like... First, to get into the cave I went into, you had to go... Uh, like, on your hands and knees, crawling through water that was up to your chin. Like, that was how you got into the cave. I had three flashlights going in, and that is where I lost one of them. Like, it floated out of my pocket and, like, drifted away. Shortly after that, I, I lost my se or my second flashlight died. Presumably to, you know, being soaked. Alright, let's place this silly farming village. Something is in the way. What if... I'm not sure I love this spot yet. Alright boys, let's get to work. Ah, look at you. Much like, like a child, I'm going to raise you into a tall, handsome man. I'm Kulkin. Let him Kulk. Ah, big greetings. So nice to be on dry land, isn't it? Even the land isn't as beautiful as we'd hope. Mm. 
It's almost as if your mother promised you the world's most bountiful feast on your birthday, only to present you with the world's feeblest grape. <laughs> so you're the new junior builder. Excellent. The farming village we're about to build represents a great step forward for our people. The first place of our new civilization. We hope for, for us not dying. We need wood, thatch, and resin in order to begin construction. Would you go collect some for us? You'll most certainly need a hatchet to collect wood and resin. Here's some handy tool crafting recipes so you can build yourself a hatchet and whatever else you need. Oh, and one last thing. This island is barren. Where did all the plant life... Where's all the plant life, young builder? Does it hide from us? For instance, I see no trees that produce resin, which we most assuredly need. You know, Powell, right? Funny little guy. Never stops talking about plants. And Luna sent him out to the east to help get the ecosystem growing again. You should check on him. See how that's going. Oh, and the most of luck to you out there, young builder. Okay. I mean, this place is kind of green. I need wood, thatch, and resin. And you gave me a crafting recipe? Is this a crafting bench? He's got a little bunny mask. You have a bunny mask? You do. Do the builders all have bunny masks? Where's your mask, man? Alright, uh, let's see. I can build a hatchet. Okay. I have a hatchet. If I had more fiber, I could build a pickaxe. Alright. Where's my swing axe button? Do I... There we go. Chop. I've got aiming. Chop. I nice sprint. Alright, found Powell. Build farming village tower. Are you Powell? Earning materials to build post. Okay. Yep, yeah, so uh, while I was caving, I, there was one point where we needed to climb up kind of this muddy hill. Or a muddy slope. I guess it's not a hill underground. But uh, it occurred to me while doing it, like I was struggling to do it under my own power. And, uh, so, like, the people I was with needed to, like, help me up after someone managed to make it up the slope. And then I realized I slid down several of these slopes to get down here in the first place. And it occurred to me, like, I had one flashlight, and I can't get out of here on my own power. And I was like, oh, all of a sudden I feel quite helpless. You must be Powell. 